Welcome back. Carbon monoxide from smoke belching vehicles are hazardous to human health and unless you suit up in a biohazard outfit, there's no way of avoiding it on Metro Manila streets. Now, this is why a leading paint manufacturer has developed a very unlikely weapon to combat air pollution. Air pollution smells nasty and is really bad for the environment. The World Health Organization reports about 3 million people are killed worldwide by air pollution from vehicles and industrial emissions annually. In Metro Manila alone, it is said that one of every eight premature deaths is caused by air pollution. One of the dangerous and highly reactive gases generated from vehicle emissions is nitrogen oxides or NOx. In large and bustling cities like Manila, the amount of NOx emitted into the atmosphere can be quite significant. But believe it or not, a paint has been developed to combat toxic emissions. And what it does for the environment is not like watching paint dry. Boysen's NOx out paint uses sunlight to transform poisons in the air, particularly nitrogen oxide, into a harmless residue that is easily washed away by rain. The technology has proven effective in a series of European trials in Milan, London and Paris. But Knox Out has also been tested on a major metro rail station along the busiest highway in Metro Manila. Early results show that paint on the station and surrounding embankment is estimated to be taking out 1.3 metric tons of NOx per year. Taking the project further, Boysen, in cooperation with Metro Manila Development Authority, launched a project that will also improve the aesthetics along the major thoroughfares. Artworks of 10 renowned artists have started to dot the walls and fly over pillars of EDSA. Dubbed the EDSA Project, the year-long initiative was put up to help give commuters and motorists a refreshing contrast when they're stuck in traffic. So how exactly does the pollution-busting paint work and what are the other possibilities for its application? And here to discuss this with us is Johnson Ong King. He is the Vice President of Pacific Paint Philippines. Johnson, thanks very much for coming to Future Perfect. Thank you, Tony. It's a pleasure. All right. Uh, Thank you. So it's been tested. I mean, Knox Out Paint has been tested in several places in Metro Manila. Well, it's been tested actually uh, in different parts of the world, not just world. Manila. Um, all the technology in it. So no, because been Metro Manila is my concern, because if our pollution can be uh, at least combated by this paint, then I guess in other cleaner countries, must not be Yes, yes. And the biggest, actually, the biggest uh, trial in the world for this technology was done in the Guadalupe MRT station. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it, it's uh, of course because it's the busiest streets of uh, so, Manila. It, yeah. The most cars, then you expect it's the it's the one with the most pollution. Mm. So we did a test in uh, 2009 uh -huh. together with uh, the Manila Observatory, uh -huh. who's the country's leading air quality institute. Chaka, mm. um, Connector, who's a Swedish environmental project management company. Yeah. So we we monitored the air for six months before painting along ed, along the Guadalupe station, and then we monitored for the six months after we painted. And w the results are mm. are very striking. Um, essentially, it can reduce. We've seen that it can reduce uh, the NOx in the area by 20, 25 percent, mm. which is the equivalent of about. 30,000 cars passing by the area every day. Mm. In in that area, it's as if the 30,000 cars that passed by, uh, all their pollution. Had cleaner emissions. Yeah, well, their, their emissions were cleaned by the by yeah. the by the paint by knocks out. Mm. So, now this was tested worldwide, as you said, and yeah. I can have I've read about um, buildings uh, being painted uh, with a similar application because uh, pollution takes a really heavy toll on structures on, on buildings. You know, not just the corrosion but also because you know it makes the buildings look ugly i mean they look dirty does it actually help prevent that well it, it one really a uh, uh, big benefit of Naxal, aside from the air cleaning which yeah. is the main benefit the side benefit is a, it's a self cleaning paint so the wall actually doesn't get dirty mm. um, and we see this in Guadalu in guadalupe and up again Today's theme is uh, solar power, but uh, this is ac activated also by light, light energy from the sun mm. on, on the outside. And uh, on the places where the light is uh, it's exposed to sunlight yeah. in Guadalupe, it's mm. actually really nice and clean, whereas every everything else along EDSA turns from white to gray within two months, three months. Yeah. But uh, if, you, if you pass by Guadalupe going southbound, 
the high wall on the side, it's still relatively white, and it's been two years. Mm. And, and the paint is only, well, uh, we know that there are particular kinds of paints for different kinds of materials, like for wood or concrete right, right. or even metal. The paint itself is just formulated to be applied on concrete surfaces? Mostly on concrete, but it's, yeah. um, uh, it's easy. You can apply it on wood, on metal, if you, you just use the right primer for those surfaces, and mm -hmm. then you can apply it. Uh, going back to your earlier point, actually, the, the main uh, consideration we had for Naxar is really pollution is a bigger, it's a public health issue. Mm -hmm. That's the bigger danger of pollution, what it's doing to us. Um, you know, it's doing harm to the buildings too, but the main problem is on us, and especially children, and, and uh, because they're more, uh, they spend more time out outdoors, they spend yeah. and they're active outdoors. Mm -hmm. They're the biggest victims of air pollution. And the ironic thing here is that uh, usually some of the uh, safety advocates would actually warn about paint being very harmful to children, especially the time when there was still a lot of lead right, content right, right. in paint. Now, is this paint in a way, uh, well, of course, it should be non-toxic, right, right, but right. in a way, how safe is it to be used? Well, actually, it's beyond safe. I mean, it's completely safe from a user's perspective. Yeah. By the way, boys and uh, boys and paints would face out lead uh, uh, many years completely. Ago. Yeah, many yeah. years ago. So, um, it doesn't have any toxic uh, materials, but w it it really changes the paradigm of paint. Now, you, it's it's anything you paint with knocks out is an air becomes an air purifier. Mm. So instead of uh, just not causing harm, it's actually improving the environment. It's actively improving the environment, and that's a very big change. And what it what it really means is suddenly you and I, who the ordinary person who before could not just accept that air pollution, there's nothing you can do about it. Sure. It's, the air is dirty. Now you can actually do something about it. Mm. You can just uh, get knocks out and paint a wall, mm. and it, it'll help protect you. And uh, are there any um, property developers who have tried using these on their buildings, uh, high-rise condominiums? Uh, even uh, home developers? Well, there's many um, uh, talks with uh, clients going, uh, potential clients going, but I'd like to cite uh, two in particular. One, ABS-CBN, your parking lot down here, mm -hmm. uh, uses this product. Uh, okay. And um, Shell, that was just before, uh, the segment before, mm -hmm. they've, uh, they've committed to now use, paint all their new stations with uh, Knox Out. They painted their last two. Um, along Edza, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, one of them in uh, Quezon City. Mm -hmm. So, these we we have an advocacy we're part of an advocacy called one wall one world and the idea is simple that every one of us can help uh, make it improve the air pollution situation by mm -hmm. uh, painting a wall because uh, any of us who use a motor vehicle whether it's a motorcycle a car a bus yeah all of those produce NOx right and that NOx becomes smog and and it's 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 causing harm to everyone and so we're all part of the problem but now with Knox Out, we're saying everyone can be part of the solution too. All right, and the solution is, has a artistic uh, implementation as well because um, part of the project uh, to introduce Knox Out uh, was through artworks. Yeah, we we're, we have this. Uh, we're sponsoring this project called Knox Out Project Edza, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's going to consist of eight large-scale artworks. Mm -hmm. uh, These are murals. Uh, public art. Public art. Uh, it, this is. Uh, this is a professionally curated, it's the first actually curated uh, public art uh, exhibit in the Philippines. All right. And what we're doing is use the beauty of art to call attention, in a way, to the ugly problem of mm. air pollution. Mm. Uh, and this is, this is uh, a very unique mixture of art and science, so to speak. So mm. the, uh, the, it's an urban renew renewal project, so when we go through EDSA, it's going to make uh, all the, everyone who uses EDSA, will uh, have something nice to look at, but more importantly, that's something nice to look at. A piece of artwork is cleaning the air. Yeah. And Actually, I have a question about how long the paint retains its uh, color. I mean, uh, normally with ultraviolet light, uh, paint fades out pretty fast, right. but how much resistant to UV uh, is knocks out? That's a very good question. Actually, th as I mentioned, this paint is powered by UV. The more right. uh, it, uh, it so gets, the more sunlight energy. it gets, the, the, the more, the more, it, the more it, it, it cleans the air. Yeah. And um, the process where it cleans the air, it's called photocatalysis. Mm. And if it's a very technical thing, but if you just break down the words, photo means light, light, and catalyst is something that uh, mm. accelerates the right. speed of a process. So mm. just, but it does not, a catalyst does not get used up in the process. Mm. So the beauty of uh, Knox Out, uh, 
is as it exposes the light, it's it just keeps going and going, cleaning the air. Mm. As long as the paint on the wall, it just keeps cleaning the air. Mm. Doesn't no maintenance needed, mm. just sunlight. So there's no thing. like say um, uh, a period where in its efficacy wears out. No, not no. at all, not at all. Uh, no. As long as there's sunlight and here, mm. all it needs to work is sunlight and humidity. And, and in the Philippines, we have plenty both. of both. And, and do you need to like uh, reapply the paint every now and then? I mean, how how much for periodic maintenance do you need? Uh, well, normally paint on an exterior in the Philippines because we have typhoons, harsh weather. Yeah. Uh, normally three to five years. But that's knocks out is the same as normal paint in that sense. There's no. Okay. Uh, so so how much more expensive is it than um, regular paint? Yeah, it's a very good question, Tony. Yeah, everybody has that. Um, and uh, what I want first people to understand when, when we look at this is first, you're buying an air purifier. You're not really buying a can of paint. It just happens to be in a can of paint. But what w the benefit you get is it's clean air. And, y and currently, there's nothing in the market. There's nothing Similarly. you and I can buy, mm. paint or whatever, yeah. that, can clean, that can clean the air, that can make the air cleaner and safer for you to breathe. So mm. you know, we, I can show you the math that when you, when you use Noxa for every peso that you spend, mm. you can spend one peso to send a text message. Or, mm. you can sp and, or one peso that you spend on this technology can clean 90 cars every year that pass by that passes by your house for mm -hmm. example and that's that's uh, i think it's it's very very inexpensive mm -hmm. as a, as an air purifier and think yeah. of it that way the pain is free mm. well i haven't tried sleeping in our uh, basement parking lot to see if i'm actually <laughs> overwhelmed by noxious fumes and i don't plan to do that anytime soon but if you do say that we've actually used knocks out for our basement parking yeah. then i guess that's pretty good i mean um, some people do actually you know, they leave their engines open because maybe they're yes. they're still in the car and they're wa waiting for it to warm up. So it's going to cut down uh, on the uh, carbon monoxide. Yeah, the nitrogen oxide. The nitrogen yeah. oxide, which is a principal component of smog. All right, yeah. and is the project going to continue, uh, or is there another stage to the Knox Out project in Edza? Yes, there's there's uh, eight different artworks that that uh, will be put up. The first one has already has been put up uh, in San Lorenzo by Bogie Ruiz. Mm -hmm. uh, we can expect seven more coming okay. up. Uh, the next one will be in the Edza Ortigas area, done by Bibi and Coco, a pair of graphic artists. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll roll these out maybe every two months mm -hmm. for uh, for us. And you'll also Please have to action. show that, of course, these artworks are not just good to look at, but actually serve the purpose of breaking down pollution, so you'll take measurements. Actually, I think we've done enough testing done to it. prove that it, it does. So it I, does. It's probably not necessary to do. I mean, we've done the math, the, say, every 1,000 square meter artwork, artwork is really the equivalent of planting 1,000 trees. Oh. You know, in terms of cleaning nitrogen okay. oxides. Absorbing. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, converting them into harmless substances. So, mm. you know, again, it's something anyone can do. And instead, uh, most people think of when they want to do something green, they go plant a tree. Sure. And it's, it's very good. Obviously, in Monti in trees. Montilupa, no? Or the new Billy Bit. The problem with, with that is you have to go outside the city. Yeah. Whereas with Naxa, you're doing right in the city and it's benefiting the people who live in the city. All right, and that's the container right there beside you. Uh, yes, here it is. Knocks out. So it's available also commercially for household yes. homeowners. At yes, least, for yes. Homeowners. And, and, and the Philippines is the only country in the world where this is commercial, available to the common people. Okay. To the and common is person. that the well? Is that the smallest uh, pail? Or no, we actually have a, a smaller one. You can buy uh, something this small if smaller one. If uh, okay. up our environment. Johnson, thanks very much uh, for coming to Future Perfect, and uh, you, uh, good luck uh, with the other future artworks uh, that Knox Out will be sponsoring. Thank you, Tony. It's a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. Well, and that will do it for the show. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tony Velasquez. Join me again next week when we again examine the present and look ahead to the Future Perfect of Philippine Tech.